Okay, time for another kiln opening. This kiln, I have no idea what it's gonna be like. It, it, it's my first time firing comb five, um, both in clay and glaze. Um, so I have no idea how it's gonna come out. Uh, I watch a lot of videos online um, of other potters and, and their glazes at this temperature and tried to emulate some of that. Um, so we'll see. Um, this also has some of the pots that I told you we're going to follow from the start to the end and like the meat platter, the uh, fruit bowl, the uh, pot that I threw a coil on the bottom um, and the borscht bowls, things like that, they're in here. So let's find out. I hope <laughs> there's not a lot of stuck pots, uh, but we'll see. So here we go. Okay. Well, wow. I don't see any stuck pots, but I don't think I fired it to, I should have fired the cone six instead of five. That's what it looks like to me. Just from initial glancing. All right, let me get my three by five cards here because that's where the layout and what they are made of. So the first one is the meat platter. All right, so this had Timoku, one full coat on the outside, and then it had Junebug, one coat to the cutoff, and oatmeal over the top of that to the cutoff. And then I put June bug on top. So that's what that came out looking like. But that's cone five, and it should I, I should have done cone six. That's because they didn't drip as much as I thought they were gonna drip, that's for sure. But I do like the inside of that. That's pretty cool. Not bad. That may be a refire, I don't know. This one, is just a silly, let's see. What is this one? This is the soup bowl, and let's see. So this was also Timoku, one full coat and two coats three quarters of the way down. And then it had Ancient Jasper uh, three coats on the top. So it was three coats on the inside and three coats on the top. So it kind of, you can see it kind of broke red with green, but I really like that Timoku. That's, that's not bad. I like that. I wish it would have been uh, a little bit more shiny on the inside, but again, that's uh, cone five and maybe I should have done cone six. Um, in the firing. All right. Then we have, let's see, the borscht bowls right here. And again, we did Tomoku. One full coat, one coat after the ring, and then three coats on the inside. Then we had oatmeal, two and a half coats to the ring. So down to the ring. And I think that would have definitely come out better at cone six, for sure. But they're still pretty cool, I like that. A little bit of crawling here. A lot of crawling, actually. But man, that Timoko looks good. But they still look rustic, and I like that. That's 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 acceptable. I like that. I don't think I'll refire these. I like those, the way they look. A lot of crawling, though.
I'm definitely going to refire this for sure. All right, now we have a bunch of mugs. Okay, these two are Timoku three quarters of the way up and Blue Rutil uh, three coats on the inside and three coats on the top. And I kind of like that. I like that a lot. I'll use that combination again. That's a, that's a good looking combo. Not bad at all. And then we had, let's see, three cups right here. These. Um, oatmeal, three coats inside and out. And blue retail, three coats on the rim. So this is where I think, because uh, I put it pretty heavy on the rim, I think uh, cone six would have melted that down a little farther but still overall it's not bad it's not a bad looking cup and again you know this is the first time using these glazes so i'm happy that everything didn't run off onto the kiln so now i know still not too bad really like these. Okay, what do we have next? We have, uh, okay, these are ancient jasper and seaweed. So we have, or no, I'm sorry, ancient copper. The ancient copper three quarters of the way up and then three coats of seaweed on top and then on the inside. So the seaweed broke a lot more than the uh, blue rutile. And I would like that combination. I think I'm gonna do next time of the Timoku and the seaweed like that. Well, copper just kind of turned out brown, but again, maybe I should have fired at the cone six. I, I don't know. We'll see next time. Still all in all, not too bad though. I really like that seaweed. It really came out nice. Not bad. Like that a lot. Okay, what do we have next? We have, all right. So this, these next four cups are uh, obsidian, three coats inside and out, and blue rutile, three coats on the rim. So, yeah, the black came out not bad, but the blue really uh, didn't come through on it. But still, overall, not too bad. That's not bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, barely, barely noticeable though. All of them came out the same. Not my favorite, but it didn't come out horrible. Okay, what do we have next? All right, we have the bottom coil pot right here. And this was, oh wow. Some bubbles, but man. So this was June bug, three coats. It was halfway. And then palladium, three coats from the top to the middle and on the inside. I really like the color on that, but there's a lot of bubbles, a lot of bubbles. So maybe that's from it almost achieving uh, a full melt but got caught in between, I don't know. I think I'll refire that to cone six and see what that uh, brings out, but uh, that's pretty cool though, man. June bug and palladium. Okay, this one, this lar, okay, this vase, let's see, let's see what this is. I thought this one was gonna stick for sure, but it didn't, and it came out really nice. I like that a lot. Now that seemed to have melted the way I wanted it. Uh, let's see. This had, uh, as a base, two coats of ancient jasper. Then it had one coat of um, oatmeal. And then it had seaweed on the outside, top one coat. And June bug and oatmeal I had as dashes, like this going all the way around. And I have a picture before it was fired so I can show that on the video as well. But uh, wow, man, that, that came out pretty good. I like that. That's what I was hoping for with all of them to be uh, melted like that. But uh, we'll see as we go down. I don't know. Pretty nice though. Okay, here we go with the bowl. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, this was a uh, Timoku one full coat and two coats half to the bottom. And then it had ancient jasper, two coats on the top, on the inside, and three coats on the outside. So it dripped really nice. And it also had seaweed on the rim. I'm very happy with that. Very nice. That's probably my favorite so far. Okay, then we have two of the cups that I had to put down here that we already saw from the top ones. It was the Timoku and the Blue Rutil. Um, and they came out fine down here too. So they look pretty good. I like that combination. But I also like the seaweed too. 
I'm gonna try it with seaweed next time. Not bad. And we have next, let's see. Okay, this was one of the platters for my neighbor, Jim. And um, that came out pretty good. And it had uh, two coats of oatmeal, two coats of ancient jasper, and seaweed on the rim and in the middle. So that came out really nice. I hope the other ones came out like that too. Wow, really nice. I hope he likes that. put these up the other two platters they came out great very happy with that I don't know does it look like my kiln gets warmer on the uh, middle I thought it would get warmer at the top but um, it seems the uh, glaze is melted more here in the middle that's beautiful. I like that a lot. Nice. It really combined really nice. Good colors. Okay, what do we have here? All right, we have two cups, and these were just straight June bug. Three coats on the inside and the out. Well, that's nothing special. Not a bad color. horrible a little darker than what I thought but it didn't drip and that's good you can see a little color variance here a little bit more green I don't know if I had more glaze there or what Overall, not too bad. Okay, now we have a bowl, and this has... Okay, not bad. Uh, Timoku, one full coat, and two coats um, halfway to the bottom. And then it had ancient jasper, uh, two coats on the inside 
and three coats from the top to the middle. And it had seaweed on the rim. So that's what that came out like. And that's not bad, I like that. It's uh, really warm. I should have put more ancient jasper on here to have it run down here, or maybe fired it to cone six, I don't know. But overall, it still doesn't look too bad. The colors go together, so I, I like that. It's not bad at all. Then we have, it's the same. It's a wide bowl. And it was the same as the last. And it came out nice. I'm starting to, I really like that Timoku. That is, it's got a lot of possibilities. We have the fruit bowl. And that is really weird. Okay, again, ancient copper three coats and seaweed two coats. So this ancient copper really comes out um, not shiny at all. And the seaweed, um, it's got some pretty cool greens to it, but I should have maybe put a couple more coats on the top to have it drip down, but really pretty cool colors though, actually. Not bad. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, we have two cups, blue or teal, three coats, halfway, and one coat full, and then we had light saphia, one coat whole, and one coat halfway, so that didn't come out too bad, I like that. It's actually not too bad. And we have the planter. Okay, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Uh, we had light Sophia or however you want to pronounce it. Um, two coats full, and then June bug, three coats from the top. So obviously I didn't put enough of the light cephia on here. I should have put three to four coats. And I don't know, the June bug just does what it wants to do. I, I really don't know. It breaks green, it breaks blue. I don't know. That'll be a refire, <laughs> for sure. So, that's that. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, 
now I kind of get an idea of what these glazes are going to do and uh, I'm going to fire it at cone 6 to see what that produces but there were some good ones and, and some not so good ones but we'll see next time because I've got some more to glaze and uh, I'll do some refires and we'll we'll check that out and the uh, clay I was using was uh, the Cinco Rojo and the Buffalo Wallow and that's from the Amarillo Clay and Supply and it's, it's pretty nice uh, one's darker the Cinco Rojo is like a, a dark red and the Buffalo Wallow comes out as a, uh, a light pinkish red um, so you definitely got to get different glaze tones on that as well but overall really happy with it so until next time, thanks for watching.